Today's video we're going to take you back up to the farm where me and Ashley farmed at last summer. Right before we took off we shot a couple videos and this is one of them. In this video it's all about the transfer pump. So how the transfer pump worked on our farm is we had a stream that had a well in it that was about 375 to 400 yards from where we were actually farming. So we used this pump to basically transfer the water from the stream all the way to a, a storage tote, like a storage tank where we would store the water. And then we'd had a secondary pump that we'd use to pump from the storage tank out to the crops. And what's interesting about this, this pumping station that we did was it's all uh, solar power so there's no gasoline being used it's just a solar panel a battery a charge controller and then your pump and what's cool about this pump is it's a centrifugal pump so it almost works like a like a underwater turbine uh, as long as the 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 flow coming the pressure coming from the pipe is is great enough you could actually turn the pump off and the water would continue to flow and fill up that tank. So it was great because, you know, the sun's out only for so many hours within a day. Once the sun went away, the system would turn off, but the water would keep flowing. And we tried other pumps, and no pump worked like the pump that we're going to talk about in this video. So we hope you enjoy this video. Hey, hey, so we're packing up here on the farm. We're done for the season. And you can see the U-Haul over my shoulder there. And this morning what I figured I'd do is, since we're packing up and we're taking things apart, why not show you some of the tools we use here on the farm, starting with how we pump our water. You know, we've had to water all these crops behind me and that water has had to travel a very long distance. I don't know if you can see out in the field there, right there, there's a tote, 275 gallon tote. And we pump our water to that tote. But I'm gonna show you where the water comes from and how it's able to travel such a long distance. I mean, it's like 350, 375, the distance in yards from where the pump is to the actual tote that I'm pumping the water into. So it's all ran off of solar power. So here's our solar panel here. Let me take you guys to the source first. I'll show you where the water is being pumped from. Let me flip this around. So you can see this hose here. So this hose runs over to a well over there and that's the water source. So the hose comes from the well all the way over to our pump and that's what's under that tote. This pump is not waterproof so we've been waterproofing it with this, this uh, plastic bin here to prevent the water from getting on it. So let me run you through everything real quick here. So we got our 100 watt solar panel. Unfortunately it's shaded right now. The sun's on its way over. It's morning. Going to this battery. It's a 105 amp hour battery and in this in this box right here, this Comcast box, is a charge controller. Okay. So let me explain how everything works. So the sun hits the solar panel. That solar panel has a positive and a negative wire. And that positive and negative wire goes directly into this charge controller. We got our, cho our, our little charge controller. And this wire here and this wire here is connected to the plus and the negative terminal 
on the charge controller. Now, you see this piece of tape? That's how we identify the plus and the minus. On the back of the, the solar panel, you'll have a plus and a minus, and you're going to want to make sure that you identify which is which, and then you're going to just, with some wire nuts there, all I did was uh, marry the two wires together. Then you can see we've got our battery port there. Now the battery port, same deal, we've got our negative and we've got our positive, and those are coming in and being connected directly to the battery port here using the wire nuts just like uh, I instructed you on the, the solar panel portion. Okay, Green light means we're good. If that red light was flashing, we'd know there was something wrong. Now with the charge controller, this is just a charge controller I bought on Amazon. I'll put the links in the description below. But this is a great charge controller. This is waterproof. And we bought some charge controllers from Renology that were not waterproof and they failed on us. So we got this guy here and we haven't had any problems since. Now you know, now you know where all the power is being distributed to. So I'm going to take you down to the pump here. I'm going to explain how this is connected. Okay, so all we have coming from the, the pump is a positive and a negative terminal. And these are just like jumper cables. Makes it really easy. You don't have to uh, disconnect any sort of bolts and put them back on. And that those ports are connected directly to this, this pump. Okay? And this is a pump uh, made by MP Pump in Ink. There is the sticker right there. Let's see if I can get a better... Okay, so there is the pump. It's a MP pump. There's the model number. It's a 12 volt pump. This whole system is operating off of 12 volts. Okay, so we've got two, an input and an output. So this, the well input goes directly into the pump. The pump gets its power from the battery there and it starts spinning a, a centrifugal motor. And the centrifugal aspect is pretty cool because it allows this pump to flow with no power. So as soon as I start getting the, the, the power going and it starts spinning, then what will happen is we turn it off and as long as there's enough pressure coming in from the well side, to keep that that uh, turn wheel turning, then the water coming out of the output here, there's the output, will continue to go. This output is essentially going all the way over here. I know it's a long way. It keeps going. And you see that out there, that tote that white thing right out there. That's how far we are pumping with this pump. Mm -hmm.